This is probably one of the worst cases of dental disease that I've seen. A lot of those teeth are probably gonna have to come out. We know that putting him under anesthesia with his heart condition, how risky that is. His heart rate had dropped down to like 80 and it started at about 150. There is a very good chance that Toby could die under anesthesia. It's all fixed up, okay? In Atlanta in the USA, Andrea has come to see Arvid about her 15-year-old poodle Toby's persistent cough. You'll feel better after. We adopted Toby when he was about two years old. As Toby has gotten older, he's developed a lot of different conditions. He was recently diagnosed with pneumonia, but Dr. Edward was able to resolve that with some antibiotics. At first, medication seemed to fix the debilitating cough, but now it's as bad as ever. You're okay. Well, hello, Toby. How you doing, buddy? Don't look too happy to see me. Don't look too happy to see me. How you doing? So Toby's this little old man, sweet guy. But the problem is he's been having this chronic cough that we've been trying to resolve for the past few months. And he got better for a little while, but then the cough came back. I know, man, I know. We're gonna get this cough taken care of. So let's see here. But you can see those teeth there. Yeah. They're rough. Yeah, and this gum. So you can see he's a little painful. You see how he jerks his he head? He doesn't like it, yeah. Yeah, it's a little painful. With the condition that his teeth is in, it seems that he has some mouth pain. I know you say he's been pawing at his mouth. Yeah. So I'm thinking that cough has a lot to do with his dental disease. A lot of those teeth are probably going to have to come out. Yeah. Toby is family. So he's not just our dog, he's our family member. So when he's hurting, we're hurting and we just want to do whatever we can do to make him feel better and to make him have good quality of life. All right, so I'm gonna show you his radiographs. Okay. Toby desperately needs surgery on his diseased teeth, but a long-standing heart condition has so far prevented that. You can see how big his heart is. He has a moderate left atrial enlargement, but he also has severe enlargement of the left ventricle, all right? His heart is not in a good place, yeah. all right? And we know that putting him under anesthesia with his heart condition, how risky that is. Toby's surgery is definitely a risky procedure given his age and given his condition. It's definitely a lot to think about, and I am worried. Are you sleepy? Oh. Andrea loves her Toby and will do anything for him. So now we have to come to this decision, whether we put Toby under anesthesia to do the teeth because there is a very good chance that Toby could die under anesthesia. With him having dental disease, it can lead to secondary heart disease, like he has liver disease, kidney disease. Without the procedure, he's gonna to continue to be in pain. He's gonna to continue to have that bacteria going through his bloodstream, which is gonna further cause heart issues. He's just gonna feel bad for the rest of his life. And with his heart condition, that's what makes it a little more scary. If I know he doesn't have a lot of time left with us, but for the short time that he does have, I wanna make sure that he's comfortable. I think it's the best thing we can do as far as like quality of life. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. You ready? You ready to go through this, man? <laughs> Not really, but it's okay. Even though there's a lot of risks to this procedure. Toby has been such a great pet and friend to me. I think this is the least I can do to help him live a comfortable life. You gonna be okay. <laughs> it's hoped removing Toby's diseased teeth will prevent several other serious medical conditions, as well as curing the aging poodle's hacking cough. All right, Toby, say night, night. And we'll see you in a minute, all right? Get you a good sleep. Time is of the essence. We don't want him under anesthesia for a long period of time with his heart condition because his life depends on it. 
First, Nurse Jenna removes years of built up tartar from Toby's teeth. All right. <clears throat> then Arvid gets to work extracting those teeth that are too far gone to be saved. And you can see there's pus and debris that's coming out of the sockets there. And you can imagine swallowing this bacteria, inhaling this bacteria. So as I'm doing Toby's tea, I'm thinking to myself, wow, this is probably one of the worst cases of dental disease that I've seen. Both canine teeth have created oral nasal fistulas in the mouth, causing a hole through the oral cavity into the nasal sinus that can be very problematic. So food, particles, all kinds of things are getting up in this hole, and that's also causing infection, not just in his mouth, but throughout his whole body. It decreases their lifespan, causes a lot of pain, affects other organs. So I'm gonna have to fix that which is not good because that means he's gonna have to be under anesthesia longer than I anticipated. And of course, the longer he's under anesthesia, the higher the risk of him not making it through, so. But as Arvid begins repairing the hole in Toby's gum, little dog's condition suddenly deteriorates. So this is why I gotta get Toby off the table because the heart rate is dropping. Jen, can you bring the needle holders with you as well? His heart rate had dropped down to like 80, and it started at about 150. So we're gonna give some medication to get the heart rate back up. We're going back up now. So I gotta get Toby off the table. I'm gonna have to start moving. It's now becoming very scary because I know that there's a good chance that Toby may not make it off this table. And there's still a lot left to do in his mouth. I think we're running out of time. There's an oral nasal fistula here. So it's caused severe bone damage all the way into the nasal sinuses. Well, he's been dealing with that for a while. And I uh, think that's a large in part of his coughing, his heart disease, that's why we're starting to see blood coming from the nose, and that's just a result of how infected these teeth are. All of them are gonna have to come out. All the teeth are not gonna have to come out. So we're still finishing up one side. We still have a whole nother side to do. Chances are he's gonna have an oral nasal fistula on the other side that I'm gonna have to create a flap for and close as well. You see that gaping hole? The same serious defect on the other side of his mouth gotta drill some of the bone back here. Means even more risky time under anesthesia for an elderly dog with a perilous heart condition. This is probably one of the worst fistulas that I've seen. Got the teeth that needs to come out so far out. Repaired the fistulas. Now we're gonna get some dental x-rays, make sure everything else looks good beneath the gum surface. And if everything looks good, we're gonna wake him up. But before they can begin x-rays, not hearing that heart rate, there seems to be another problem with Toby's heart. So I want to get Toby up off this table, quick, fast, in a hurry. But it's the heart rate monitor, not Toby's heart, that has stopped working. Are you kidding me? Now the monitor goes out. And of course, <laughs> I've got to hear that beep, beep, beep. Because when that stops, no pun intended, but that kind of makes my heart stop. Thankfully, it's a simple fix. The electrodes connected to Toby's chest weren't moist enough to send electric signals to the monitor. That monitor, you always want to hear it in the background. That just kind of keep you sane. So I kind of lost my sanity for a minute there. Reassured Toby's heart is still beating, Arvid and Jenna take dental x-rays to see if there are any more teeth that need to be removed. Almost like the tip of the iceberg effect, just because a tooth looks healthy on the outside of the gum doesn't mean it's healthy underneath. That's the top man. Mm-hmm. It's very last. After taking the x-ray, you can see that beneath the gum surface, 
there's bone loss and actually an abscess tooth there. That particular tooth will have to come out as well. You can hold this lip up for me real quick. We ended up extracting 14 teeth, which yeah, I know it's a lot of teeth, but it was a necessity in order to cure his dental disease and everything that's going on with his pain and all of his other issues as a result of the dental disease. Toby's life-threatening surgery has finished not a moment too soon. That heart rate is starting to come down again. We're going to only get so many chances with that, so we're about to get him up. In Atlanta, it's almost time for Toby to go home after narrowly surviving high-risk dental surgery. Waiting anxiously to see her much-loved poodle, Andrea spent the day worrying the 15-year-old might not make it. It was definitely really stressful, again, given his age and his condition. I wasn't sure how he would handle the anesthesia. I was super relieved when Dr. Irvin called and told me that everything was okay. I felt like I could finally take a breath. So, yeah, I was definitely very relieved. Here he is. <laughs> Boy, baby. Oh. Here he is. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes. So you see, he's oh, got a little bit of blood uh, from yeah. his nose there. And I'm gonna send you home with some gauze, okay. just to kind of blot it. Okay. But uh, because of the fistulas in his mouth, the bleeding is gonna be part of it. And the gums, you know, they're very vascular. Yeah. So, but he'll be fine. He will be just fine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but he did great through his anesthesia. He, you know, handled it like a champ. My biggest hope for Toby is that one, we get this cough under control and alleviate it. Two, no more pain pain-free life, we just focus on managing his heart condition and allowing Toby to give Andrea the love she is looking for for the rest of the time he's here. You'd be good to let mom do what she's supposed to do, okay? Okay. <laughs> Long-term hopes for Toby is that that tracheal cough can really be minimized, that he'll have less oral pain and that he'll be able to be a little bit more like himself again. All Thank right. you so much. You're welcome. See you later, Toby. Say thank you. <laughs> Time to get you home. Get you some rest, okay? I know. All right, let's go. Come on. <laughs> if you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way. That way. <laughs>